Welcome. Short episode, Dr. James Beckett, Sports Card Insights, talking about whether you are a card enthusiast or a card addict. So I'll address some of that thanks to sponsors, Tops Panini Upper Deck, Beckett Media, Beckett Grading, Beckett Authentication, ComC.com, Heritage Auctions, Huggins and Scott Auctions, Burbank Sports Cards, and Mike's Stadium Sports Cards. So, uh, you know, I'm a serious collector, have been for a long time. I, I don't think I'm an addict, but what addict thinks they're an addict? Most most don't. Uh, so how could you tell if you have addictive uh, tendencies? We're not talking about a substance addiction, if cards are a substance. Uh, it's more of a an addictive disorder, of a way of looking at things with uh, some of the qualities of of uh, an addiction. So, but uh, in an addiction, you say, "Well, I can't help myself. I, I feel forced to do something." Well, if you're buying and selling cards, you're probably a card enthusiast, not an addict, because nobody says, "Oh, I'm addicted to selling cards. I, I just keep selling cards. I can't stop." No, that's not what they, they they're buying cards. They're accumulating cards. Uh, so much so that if it's an addiction, it's probably it has the uh, potential for messing up your family and friend uh, relationships. So uh, of the addictions, is it one of the better addictions? Uh, yes and no. It's a lot of fun to collect cards. But if it's like I said, if it's messing up your family uh, and your friend relationships, um, uh, how is it that much different from gambling or substances or other other uh, other kinds of things. Is it better than video games? <laughs> Again, if it's messing up the rest of your life, uh, you need help. So I went through and looked at some different uh, factors of whether or not things were uh, addictions, and some of them are uh, funny, and some of them are, are pretty... Uh, uh, one was uh, when, when someone's addicted, there, there can appear to be a lack of concern for personal hygiene. In our industry, uh, some of you need to take... Uh, take, uh, take uh, Take that into account. Okay. Take care of yourself. Um, withdrawal symptoms. Well, um, we're going to find out with, uh, without having some of these card shows. Are people going to be, are you going to have that? I mean, I know I gave up caffeine many years ago. And when I did, I, I had some withdrawal for a few, few days. Um, sleeplessness. If, if, uh, your, uh, inability to, uh, to go to shows or go to your LCS or to, to be involved in your hobby or buy cards is upsetting you to the point of sleeplessness. That's, uh, you know, there's the excitement of, uh, going to sleep Christmas Eve and wondering what, uh, presents you're going to get the next morning. It's, I kind of feel that when I'm, when I'm going to go to a show. But again, that's, to me, that's normal excitement, normal enthusiasm for a positive experience. Um, let's see. One of the, one of the ways people know that, that they're addicted to something else is that they, they kind of drop off. They, they don't have time for their hobbies and, and, and certain other activities. Well, if your hobby is your addiction, uh, that, that wouldn't be true. Uh, secrecy and solitude. Uh, the addiction psychologists talk about if you're, if you're having to do these things in, in, uh, in secrecy and solitude, uh, not a good thing. Uh, denial that you deny that you have a problem. Well, it's not a problem to enjoy a hobby. It is a problem if it's uh, messing up the rest of your life. Talk about uh, not that consumption is so bad, but just excess consumption. That would be excess purchasing. On a certain level, it's a hobby uh, above and beyond uh, to the point where you're having some financial difficulties in your family life or you're borrowing money uh, to, to buy cards. That would be a problem. They also talk about having a stash. In other words, stashing away something where your uh, family and friends are not aware of uh, perhaps cards that you're buying. Again, that would be indicative of of uh, an addiction and an unhealthy behavior. Everybody wants to be a card. Enth- everybody wants to love the industry. I've loved it for a long time. But uh, again, I don't want to uh, go over the line to addiction. I don't feel like I have. But there probably are a few people out there that have. They're, they're, they're more obsessed. Uh, there's a risk-taking uh, behavior profile changes when you're addicted. You, you, you're, you're, and again, just I don't want to discourage people from uh, the healthy activities. But when you're buying a box of cards, you buy an unopened product, it's that there's risk there. You're hoping to hit it, and um, and some boxes do, some don't. Uh, ultimately, you're an enthusiast if you can uh, rein it in, if you can stop. And if you can't, you have an inability to stop, despite having uh, problems, not just not health problems as much as financial problems. And again, in this uh, day and age, I believe we've entered into a, a time when uh, collecting, I won't necessarily call it investing, but I'm saying if you're if you're collecting cards, you probably need to be buying and selling. And if you are, that's the best uh, antidote for uh, not being an addict. If you see these cards as nice to have, as, uh, as uh, commodities that are very enjoyable, um, 
that you can buy and sell as appropriate for based on the needs of your of your uh, situation, your family. Well, then to me, that's healthy and that's great. If you don't, I encourage you to get help help because uh, the, the situation as we move into the uh, the, the, the spring and the summer, uh, there's likely to be a new normal. And, um, you know, if there aren't car shows for a while, your behavior is going to need to change. Addiction is when you're unable to change unhealthy behaviors or behaviors that are that are somewhat destructive to you or, or your close friends. So uh, thanks for listening. Be back again tomorrow with another episode. Uh, in the meantime, um, enjoy collecting appropriately.